One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. In a few weeks' time, it'll be 50 years since three American astronauts landed on the moon. Now the United States is in a new space race with Russia and China. But whereas in the past, U.S. rockets to Earth's nearest neighbor were funded by U.S. taxpayers, multi-billionaires such as Amazon founder Jeff Bezos are increasingly paying for private ventures into space. Speaking to an audience of NASA scientists as well as investors, he unveiled a lunar lander called Blue Moon. He says it could be used to transport equipment and people to the moon in the next five years. We've been working on this lander for three years. It's a very large lander. It'll soft land in precise way, 3.6 metric tons onto the lunar surface. Two months ago, the U.S. Vice President called for a dramatic acceleration in American space exploration. Mike Pence said NASA rockets and other technology could be replaced by alternatives from private companies. We have the technology to return to the moon and renew American leadership in human space exploration. What we need now is urgency. His comments followed China landing a spacecraft on the far side of the moon for the first time ever. SpaceX, founded by another billionaire, Elon Musk, is due to fly NASA astronauts to the moon later this year, and NASA is drawing up plans to establish a future human outpost on the south pole of the moon. Scientists believe there's enough ice there to use its hydrogen for rocket fuel as well as for drinking water. Entrepreneurs hoping to sell their technology to the U.S. government see space exploration as an opportunity to make money as well as history. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.